Hi guys. So today our topic is how to set permission role for non-effective data entities by business role. So our platform discussion is on success factors, employee central. As we know, role-based permission is creating a vital role in employee central security purposes. But uh, there are some gaps uh, in the standard role-based permissions, like uh, I just point out one thing, place of birth field in biographical information. If we want to apply some roles, like uh, we want only admin or logged in user only can see uh, this field, and this should, the user should not able to see this field, we can't achieve this via role-based permission settings. Because this field place of birth is not available, in employee view category so how to achieve that if our uh, specific requirement is you want to hide this place of birth field for all of the employees except specific role uh, permission role group can see that like ec admin we have picked up one example place of birth field in biographical information portlet which is basically a non-effective dated portlet there is no effective date for biographical information. So you can't find biographical information in effective dated entities. Okay. So place of birth field in biographical information portlet should be visible only to EC admin group. One role-based permission group is created for so only the persons who belongs to part, this particular EC admin group, they can only see that field. Rest of the persons should not see the field. This is our requirement. So we are going to achieve this today to have business rule. Okay, let's uh, follow me. First, let me just justify what I'm telling. Means is that field really can we can see uh, via role-based permissions? Let's check it first. So let's go to permission rule. Permissions. If we go to employee data, and try to find the field place of birth. You can see it is not found. That means this field is not maintained in employee data category in permission role. So we can't say that. So we have to write down the rule here. Yeah. So let's go to write down the rule. Configure business rules. Okay, create new rule. Here I'm choosing the option basic because I want to put the base object of my selection, not the predefined one, which are already there. So that's why I choose the option basic here. So put some new here. Right. You can put any other name of your choice. Have also meaningful description here. That is our target height. Place of both field only EC admins can see that. And here, basic object biographical. Okay, we need to choose here biographical information model, not biographical information. Why? What is the reason behind it? Because we want to apply the attribute called visibility of biographical information, and that is only available in biographical information model. That's why you are choosing the base object as biographical information. If you choose biographical information only, then the visibility attribute you can't find there. So remember this point, we need to choose biographical information model. Now let's continue. Okay, so here in if clause, we need to apply one standard function which is available. What is the function? Is user in permission group. 
so if we apply this function is user information code we can see two inputs are required here first input so basically what what is the uh, purpose of using this function let me discuss that in this function we can check the user belongs to some particular permission group or not this function returns that checking result in terms of boolean okay so uh, our logged in uh, user id should be our logged in user login user and permission group name that should be okay so this function will return this function will check for the logged in user belongs to this ec admin group or not in terms of that it will return the result so our purpose is to set the visibility or place of work field in biological information portlet so that only ec admin can see rest of the group cannot see so here the boolean we are setting as no that means if the user does not belongs to ec admin group then the visibility of biographical information should be set as none that is the point we are going to achieve here so let's set here place of birth visibility this is that i'm trying to talking here set biographical information model place of birth visibility is equal to be none so if the logged in user doesn't belongs to ec admin group then that user cannot see the field this is the business rule should be there so i'm going to say this business rule so rule is set now the second step is to apply this rule in biographical information configuration let's copy the rule open a new window let's go to manage business configuration where you can find biographical information configuration place so here you can see lot of hrs elements so which hrs elements is related to biographical information that is person info so you can see the level is biographical information so here we need to apply the rule in the trigger rule section so we have chosen the base object as biographical information model let's choose it first now here come the events event type so you can see there are a lot of events are coming on save on in it on view save alerts on push save so where particularly we need to put our business rule here we need to put the business rule in on in it no why because on in it this event will be triggered when the page is going to land and after landing the page if you going to edit or going to see the history then on in it functionality is going to end then on view event going to be started okay so in that case so if you apply the business rule in on in it initially when the page is going to be land the field should not be visible but if you going to edit afterwards or going to see the history then the field again going to be appeared to the user but that is not the desired requirement for us so we want to hide that field for all times for the for that particular user if that user not belongs to ec admin group okay so, so in that case we need to choose the event type as on view and now put your business rule hide birthplace and save it so step 1 business rule creation step 2 assigning the business rule to the particular 
uh, portlet like by getting information here so it is done now step three is remaining that is the testing so uh, first let us check what are the users belongs to that particular group admin center uh, admin uh, ec admin sorry okay so if this is the ec admin group if you go to check the active members open and announcing so i have logged in this id and asking so with my logged in i should able to see the user in the field in the vital field information so let's pick up on employee mark parke okay so let's go to biographical information place of birth yes and i can see the field place of birth for one employee now uh, let me proxy with some different user to check if that user who don't belongs to that group is here means can see this field or not okay just uh, check who is the uh, line manager of this particular employee and uh, we will proxy that particular user okay william dirt so william dirt is a line manager of mark burke so let's proxy william dirt So I'm proxying now William Dirt to check if William Dirt can see place of birth field in biographical information of Mark Burke. So let's go to Mark Burke's uh, employee data file. Okay, so let's go to biographical information. No, there is no place of port when I am going to log in the proxy William Dirt. But Anasing can see because William Dirt not belongs to EC admin, but Anasing belongs to EC admin permission group. So that is what our target, and we achieve this target by writing a business tool and enabling this business tool in Bike Information Portlet. So hope you enjoy my video and uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe my video and uh, my target of opening this channel especially to provide more interesting video in success factors for now and more in upcoming technologies based on uh, sap or cloud on any other thing so that is my target for opening this channel so please, uh, if you like this video, just like it, subscribe it, and put your comments, and put your complex things so that I can provide solutions and prepare more videos for you that will be useful for you as well. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I'm closing this video. Bye-bye.